I was surprised. I didn't think he was capable of doing it, you know. Um, and I was half watching them when they were going out and half reading the press and stuff because I just didn't think it was true that he, would, he wouldn't have to. Bill attracted all sorts of ladies, many ladies. You could have the pick of, you know, grown up women without having to resort to, to kiddies. There was no need for it. And I just, well, to be quite honest with you, it's easy talking now because we know the verdict. I didn't believe it. I don't think I believed it at the time, and um, uh, I certainly don't believe it now, obviously, you know. A woman said in court that when she was 14, in the 60s, yeah. in 1965, she was taken into a dressing room with Bill Roach, and that you opened the door of the dressing room and, and saw the two of them in there. Yeah. There's a lot wrong with that, if you don't mind me saying so, because I wasn't in the show in that. She said in May 65, I think. I wasn't in the show for a whole year in that, that year. And I would have to have a hell of a long neck because I've got an idea. I was in Yugoslavia doing Genghis Khan on the horseback and stuff. And I would have to have a long neck to open this door and look around it and stuff. And you'd never do it anyway because it's just, it was just etiquette. You never went to anybody's dressing room because you only had them on a Friday morning till you did the recording. Then you went home. Then all the sets came down. Rose and Sharon came down. Everything came, disappeared because there was a small studio and they had to use the studios for other things. And it would never have happened. I would never go to anybody's door. I said this in court, actually. Said that in court. I didn't see any schoolgirls at all. And anyway, I wasn't there. I was out the country or in London or whatever. I was nowhere near Granada. How do you feel about these women making allegations about this era, this sort of I don't know. culture of... Possibly, to be kind, I think possibly misguided. I don't know, I think possibly the Crown Prosecution Service should have examined my part of it. When I was dragged into it, reluctantly, I didn't know anything that was going on, they would have found I wasn't anywhere near the studio, and they couldn't have been there. How did you feel to be mentioned in this allegation? Angry, very angry, basically, because very quickly, because the, the policeman came round, and we, he was nice, as I said, and um, I told him I'd check with Granada, the legal people, and I rang them up, and they came back two or three days later and said, 1965, which is the date the policeman was talking about, I wasn't in the show, you know, and we went back in time. Uh, with my wife and tried to find out what I was doing. It was either Date Like Diamonds, uh, which is about Radio Caroline or something, uh, and or, you know, uh, Genghis Khan, which I'd never been able to do if I'd have stayed in the street because you just got typecast and that was the end of it, you know. Just tell me how you felt when you heard the, the not guilty verdict. Today? Yeah, and I screamed and said, yes! Because I was, I was pleased for Bill, you know. I was just pleased for him that it's, he'd gone through all this. It must have been hell for him. You know, it's, it's not nice, it's, and it's becoming fashionable for people to do this, to attack people or whatever. But I think the Crown Prosecution people, as I said before, should delve into this, examine it properly, and get the police to uh, really examine it, you know.